Welcome to Ashton Gate, where the noise is quite brilliant. The home supporters are so up for this. It is a genuine cut tight. And if the Blues weren't aware of it already, their arrival in the city has caused enormous excitement. A minute's applause for the late John Motson, one of my match of the day colleagues and a man who'll be greatly missed by all those who knew him and worked with him. Mares cutting in on his left foot, as he loves to do. And now Calvin Phillips on the edge of the D, who has a shot, and he's hit the bar. Well, that would have given City the perfect start and it would have meant an awful lot to Calvin Phillips. It's only his second start for City and it's a terrific hit, Michael Brown. It's a wonderful effort, right-footed, and thinking, is it going to curl into that top corner? It just hits the crossbar, so unfortunate. Bristol City have won the ball back and now they've gone in round the back because there was a slip and City are under a bit of pressure here and Bristol City have won a corner. There was an untimely slip and it left Bell in. Bell has been in great form. He's a young player with tremendous potential, come through the ranks of Bristol City. And when the ball came forward, Akanji lost his footing and suddenly, I think he was going for the bending shot and it hit Diaz and goes out for a corner. City are into the box here with Morris. Lovely ball across the face of the goal and City score. Phil Foden, beautifully worked by the Blues. They moved it over to the right-hand side. A lovely slide rule pass across the face of the goal by Riyad Mahrez and Phil Foden in the right place at the right time. Thundered it into the roof of the net. Bristol City nil, City one. You have to say that is sheer class from the Blues. It's a typical Manchester City quality goal with movement, with runs. You see seeing Riyad Mahrez times it so well. And it's a lovely ball right across the face. The goalkeeper's looking, thinking, can he get anything on it? Phil Fordham follows it, back post, hits it so well, left-footed, roof of the net, but it's all about the delivery from Riyad Mahrez. Leaves the goalkeeper scampering right across the front post. Wonderful from City. City trying to win it back, but at the moment it's Bristol City in possession of the ball. They look a good side, don't they, Michael? Yeah, really impressive. They've brought in Scott again, who looks a handful. He's into the penalty area. His shot is straight at Ortega, though. The City players were hoping for an offside. The flag never went up, but that's another attempt on target from Alex Scott. is in field, it's a lovely flick, and City are onto it at pace, and De Bruyne are in the penalty area, De Bruyne hits the shot, it's over the bar. Again, it, if he was in the mood, it would have been in the back of the net, but he hit it with his left foot, left foot and it rose over. Yeah, he seems to be in the mood, wonderful little flick inside as De Bruyne just gets into the penalty area, falls well for him, but he just tries to strike it, possibly a little bit too hard, and... Just always rising up as he tries to hit the roof of the net. Lewis helps it on its way. It'll be a left footed cross into the area. It's taken down well, and the shot was from Ruben Diaz, whose first touch was exquisite to bring it under his spell. And then his second touch was to drill it goal bound, but it was a good block. And in the end, it's in the possession of the goalkeeper O'Leary. Foden now into the penalty area, right across the face of the goal. Everybody misses it, and, uh, well, that's an escape for Bristol City, and really unlucky for the Blues. Headed for 
forward. Bristol City on the chase. But uh, that should be Ruben Diaz to get there first for City. And indeed, there's enough pace on it to go out for a goal kick. No, it hasn't. It's been kept in. Oh, what a chance. City thought it was going out. It wasn't. The cross came in and Sam Bell in front of Edison headed it wide. Well, Diaz just tried to use his body to allow the ball to drift out of play. It was brilliantly kept in. The cross came into the box. Bell got just in front of Akanji, but headed it wide of the post. Golden opportunity squandered by Sam Bell. Out wide to De Bruyne on this near side, the left-hand side. Pops it into the gap, the flag stays down. The ball is in the possession of Alvarez. Back it goes to De Bruyne again. De Bruyne looking to his right and plays a lovely ball into the gap. Ake into the penalty area. City have men over here. Can they work it? Yes, they can. 2 0 City. Phil Foden with his second goal. It took a ricochet on the way through, but it scarcely matters. It's in front of the City supporters behind that goal. The Blues needed a second goal, and Phil Foden has provided it. It's City 2, Bristol City 0, and at last that second goal arrives. And it's a wonderful pass, Kevin De Bruyne into Nathan Ake. And as the ball circulated, Alvarez trying to get a shot away, but it's Phil Foden just waiting, switch to that right-hand side, tries to get a shot across, but as the ball fizzes across, I think it's Viner who just actually gets the last touch as it's going in towards that far post and couldn't get out of the way of it, off his left boot and into the far corner. Grish is in the penalty area meanwhile, and his cross, well, it was driven looking towards uh, Alvarez, and it kind of span off the gloves of the goalkeeper, O'Leary, and went over the bar. It was one of those that could have ended up with an own goal for the goalkeeper, and he was very, very pleased to see it spin over his crossbar and out for a corner. to De Bruyne, City looking for a third goal, De Bruyne hits it into the back of the goal. Well, I said he hadn't scored since that winning goal at Leicester City on, at the King Power Stadium, and in front of the City supporters who would have had a wonderful view of it, Kevin De Bruyne with one of those precise side foots has just hit the corner of the Bristol City net. And if there was any lingering doubt, and to be honest, I don't think there really was, it is now 3-0 to City, and they're on their way to the last eight of the FA Cup, courtesy of a wonderful finish from Kevin De Bruyne. The ball is with Palmer, wide on the right-hand side, as City look for a fourth goal. Palmer with a few step-overs. And the flag stays down, and a chance, and Alvarez, oh, it was deflected. City say that has to be a penalty. The City fans behind the goal say penalty. Andre Mariner says no, there's no VAR, so it won't be a penalty. 